Hello and welcome back to my channel. So yesterday my wife told me that there is a video of a woman online talking about how the Netherlands is the worst country ever, and her reasons are somewhat controversial. Now I was definitely intrigued and decided I was going to watch the video, but then I thought we should watch it together. So I haven't watched this video outside of the first 10 to 15 seconds I used for her to confirm that it was the correct video. She also told me some of the things she says in the video, so I'm aware of that, but otherwise the entire video I'm seeing for the first time. So let's take a look at this woman's channel. It's Josepha Vlogs and she has just under 48,000 subscribers. She's posted 608 videos. The video is titled, The Netherlands is the Worst Country in Europe, Here's Why. I'm going to use my headphones so the sound doesn't compete with me talking. Hello fellow travelers. Today I'm going to tell you about a country that I didn't like. Officially, it is named the Netherlands. But my experience was specifically in the Holland region. So, so this, this video is overdubbed and... I'm going to take a look at that. So it looks like she speaks Spanish. Her other videos are in Spanish and uh, she likely overdubbed it in English to get more English speaking views. In the city of Amsterdam, the country of Holland is full of attractive people. Many people would like to move there to find love because the Dutch are very good looking people. People claim that there are jobs there and that it's a very special country. I found out about this country online. Wait, you found out about the Netherlands online? You'd never heard of the Netherlands before? That seems already like she's a little out of the loop, but okay. When I arrived in this country with my son, the very first day was snowy. I stayed at Schiphol Airport for the first night because we landed late and security personnel mistreated us and were racist towards us. Most people spoke Dutch which is a very hard language to learn. Wait. <laughs> okay, so you came to the Netherlands, a country where they speak Dutch, and you're surprised that you got to the airport and they speak Dutch? I mean, uh, you know, most international airports, they've got some bilingual people, and as far as I've been able to tell, the, this country, many people speak English. But e even then... They speak Dutch here. Like, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they speak Dutch at the airport? I also find it fascinating. She says that they were racist to her. I did not get that experience coming to the airport. Nobody seemed to care um, that I was. I mean, I guess I'm white, and she's you know some sort of uh, you know Spanish descent, um, South American descent. It seems so. Maybe. She did, but uh, it seems unlikely. Some people also spoke English as a secondary language, but it was broken English. Therefore, it was very hard to communicate. Right, because that's their home language. They speak Dutch. It, if I go to Mexico and find somebody that speaks English, they're going to speak broken English because normally they speak Spanish. I struggled as the airport was the first encounter I ever had with the Dutch. The next day, I went to my hotel, which, by the way, was very expensive. I did not find any cheap hotels to stay at within the city of Amsterdam. I spent too much money. After staying two months in Amsterdam, I suffered so much. I wanted to leave, and I ended up completely broke. Wait, but you just said you, you didn't have it. You bought an expensive hotel and didn't have enough money. You you could have found a cheaper hotel. I don't understand how that's anybody else's fault. It was freezing there. There was too much snow and many bicycles everywhere because the Dutch culture involves riding a bike everywhere since the country is little. The Netherlands being a car-free country, there are not many cars around. As I said earlier, the Dutch are very attractive Wait. people physically. Wait. <laughs> Wait. The Netherlands is not a car-free country. They're just, they're, they ride bikes everywhere. 
They just ride bike and walk. It, and it's not because the country's small. It's not like people are riding from one side of the country to the other. It's just because the way the local communities are set up, they're set up so things are closer. Grocery stores, post office, you know, whatever you need is 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 close enough that you can get most of everything you need within walking and biking distance. There are people that have cars. This is just the weirdest idea that the Netherlands is a car-free country, okay? But they are very cold, and they will not socialize with you. They will never talk to you out of the blue. Instead, they just show you a fake smile. The fact that they constantly said, Hello, hello, annoyed me so much, and I didn't like it at all. That's how they communicate, so you move out of their way. Because they are commuting through the city using bicycles. Wait, that doesn't even make any sense. Y you said that they're cold, but that you don't like them saying hello. What do you want? You want them to not say anything? You want them to say hello? What else do you want them? You want them to ask how your day is and care about everything, but you're a stranger. Get over it. There are also railways for cable cars on the streets with the buses and cars and bikes. All of them using the same roads. I found it quite unorganized. It is a very small city, beautiful and old-fashioned, but it is full of canals and rivers, which I didn't like. I suffered so much. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't like that there was canals? What the hell are you talking about? Like, so you, f <laughs> you found out that the Netherlands exists online and didn't hear anywhere that they have canals? And how did the canals affect you? Like, why does it matter that they have canals? Like, how did that negatively affect you? It doesn't make any sense. And she keeps, suff she keeps saying, I suffered so much. I became depressed since I spent so much money. I never even found a job to sustain myself and I've been ripped off by two Dutch employment agencies. Because they demand you meet so many requirements to work, and it's a very closed country, you can't work or have access to basic services as a foreigner. If you are an American, I guess the same principles applies to any non-European foreigner. You have zero possibilities of working in the Netherlands. I lived in Amsterdam, and after doing so for a time, <laughs> <clears throat> All right, there's a lot to unpack on, on this one here. So, yes, if you go to another country that you're not a citizen of, you don't get access to the services that those citizens are paying for with their taxes. Those are for people who pay taxes. And of course, if you're in an emergency, a doctor is going to take care of you. But you don't just get that right off the bat. I, I don't. I have to get my resident permit and then I start paying taxes and I can get an insurance plan and then I can, you know, use the medical services. I can use, you know, I, I mean, I technically already do use some of the services. Our trash is picked up, which isn't something we're charged for. So I'm technically getting that for free right now, but... I'm going to be paying taxes from my business. My business makes a decent amount of money, so I'm going to be paying a decent amount in taxes, um, you know, this year, and I, I, I'm fine with that. I, I'm, you know, so I can use the services. I wouldn't expect to use a country's services because, you know, I, if I didn't pay the taxes. So it, it's weird to, and also working. Like, of course. You have to be a U.S. citizen to work. She says about coming from America, which I find, I assumed she was from South America because her all her videos are in Spanish. But, you know, there are people in America who like to only speak Spanish. So maybe she did come over here from America. She, she didn't state it in the video. So if she's an American, there, there's so much talk in America about illegal immigrants coming over and taking jobs. How could she possibly think it's weird that they would do the same thing here we you got to be a citizen you got to get a a visa or a work visa you know you, you have to have a specific reason there's got there's rules in place like it, it's it's funny that there's there's not a specific thing that's been done to her it's that there are rules like you came over here and just assumed there were no rules that there were just 
gonna give you everything for free? It, it seems very unhinged. There's nothing left for us. Let's also not forget that the Dutch are stingy and greedy. In most cases, they will not give you a handout if you're in need. <laughs> <laughs> Some people point out the greatness of the welfare that citizens of the European Union can benefit from, but that was not so great, because I've met many people from Europe who still had nothing while there, as they spent all their money in that country, and especially in the city of Amsterdam. They read on the internet that it is supposed to be the best country, and that there are plenty of opportunities. But it's not true. Forget about going there if you don't have any money, because if you're unlucky and end up homeless, you can't even exist there. The police will arrest you and fine you if they see you sleeping on the streets. I met a girl from Germany, and she had a tough life in the Netherlands. She had trouble saving up money working at bars <laughs> okay. and hotels. Uh, <laughs> Alright, this is, this is unfortunately the type of people that come to Europe and give Americans a bad name. Uh, of course, there are people like this, but the majority of the people I've met who have moved from America to any other country have, have not been this way. They understand that the, the America is not the center of the universe. Far from it. It's not the greatest country in the world. It, and people in other countries do things differently. And that way of life works for them. But this person clearly doesn't understand that she can't just come to the to the to Europe and specifically to the Netherlands and just have hand everything handed to her. So basically this video she's described coming here with enough money to stay in an expensive hotel for 2 months and then running out of money, not having a job, not understanding that she can't just get a job. Like she just straight up learned about the country on the internet one day, didn't even know there was canals here, didn't know she couldn't get a job, and just came here with enough money to stay in a, an expensive hotel for two months. I don't think that this is a sign of how the Netherlands is, as opposed to a sign of how this lady is. Even with two jobs, she was not able to save enough money to survive. It is very hard because the system is made to benefit older people. Older people's wages are way higher than young people's. It's a system where the older you get, the more you get paid. The <laughs> most important thing you need to know before moving to the Netherlands so wouldn't, is... Wouldn't that system of people getting paid more because they're older be because they've had a job for a long time and gotten raises? I mean, I don't agree with, you know... The, the system in some other places that, you know, where somebody fresh out of high school or fresh out of college gets paid enough money that's not even a livable wage. But, I mean, you start with a livable wage and then throughout your life you get raises and more experience. And wouldn't you make more money when you're older than when you're younger? I, I don't know. It seems to make sense to me, but... Apparently not to her. To bring a lot of money with you, because you are going to spend a lot on hotels and going out. This is especially true in Amsterdam, which is a very small city. Very small city. You could literally walk across the city in one and a half hours. Also, consider in winter, it is very cold, very windy, very snowy, and in Amsterdam, there are not many places to sit. There aren't big shopping centers to go shopping. The only places to go are McDonald's and Burger King, which are places most Wait. people gather and drink. I moved here from America, and I've seen McDonald's and Burger King. McDonald's is, you know, quite common. Burger King, eh. And, you know, Starbucks is here and there. Uh, they just opened a Taco Bell where I right down the street from where I live, and I guess there's KFC and Subway. Now, that is far from the only places to eat. Um, there's all sorts of stands you can get food at. Um, there's uh, little fast food restaurants and places that serve like snacks. There's restaurants. That's there's lots of Italian restaurants around here. Uh, some German restaurants. Um, they're all 
there's a lot of Asian restaurants, Indian restaurants that then they're all so far I found have been reasonably play, priced, not anything different um, from the United States. So if you're walking around Amsterdam and you only see McDonald's and Burger King, then you are not looking at where you're going. And you should probably check on that because you're going to trip and fall. In reality, this country isn't that great. There are too many drugs. On the weekends, teenagers get high, get drunk, and there's also a lot of legal and illegal prostitution. To be honest, I didn't find it was the best country in the world, as the internet claims. I, I Supposedly this lady's from America, but I don't know where she lived in America if she's claiming there's not a lot of drugs and prostitution, but it's, uh, okay. I don't know that I would ever label something the best country in the world. I don't think that exists. It's going to be different for every person. Some people uh, think that the United States is the best country in the world, and that's what works for them. So if they moved here, they probably wouldn't like it as much. Some people think the Netherlands is the best country in the world because that's what works for them. I know somebody who thinks France is the best country in the world. And you know why? Because it works for him. He likes it there. The way they do things works for him. It doesn't mean that every other country in, in the world is terrible. I think that this is a great country. I think that there are a, a number of great countries that are really good, that they just do things differently. So you can't say one's the best and one's not. So it's over. And to me, uh, there's a part two. Great. There's a part two and part two looks like it is longer than part one. So we're going to have to check that out maybe in the next day or so. Um, my consensus is that she is um, not. Look, I'm not going to call the lady crazy. I think that she has a very unrealistic view of the world. I think that she's um, assumed a lot of things about how things in the world are supposed to work, and they don't, and she's unaware of that, and she needs to understand that not everything um, in the world works the way she thinks it should, and that she's not entitled to just get things handed to her. Um, she's likely never going to realize that on her own, which is fine to each their own. But uh, that was, um, to me, a very inaccurate description of the Netherlands. And like I said, I would never call this the greatest country in the world. But so far, I've lived here for two months, the same amount of time she lived in that expensive hotel. I've been to Amsterdam a couple of times, and um, I definitely like Utrecht better. Um, I'm not a big city guy, but either, I mean, I've been to New York City, I've been to Los Angeles, I've been to Las Vegas, I've been to almost every major city in the United States, up and down Florida, um, I've been to Canada, I've been to Mexico. Uh, Amsterdam is nearly as drug-addled and crime-ridden and dirty as a lot of major cities I've been to in the United States. Not saying one is better than the other. I'm just giving you a comparison that, as far as big cities go, Amsterdam, it's all right. Again, I'm not a big city guy. I like where we live now. There's It's a smaller area. It's got more, um, I don't know, it's it's more more of a little kind of suburb than a big city. Let me know what you think about this lady's take in the comments. Um, like I said, in a couple days... I'm going to go ahead and give uh, part two a, uh, a watch, and uh, we'll, we'll check that out and see what she said to respond, I'm assuming, to all of the negative comments she likely got. So you can look forward to that. Thanks so much for coming to my channel. If you have any questions about me personally or about my new life in the Netherlands, leave them in the comments. If you like these videos, hit subscribe and you can continue on this journey with me. Thanks so much, and be safe.